Holmes, I was trained as you were in science, and I've been fascinated with theology my whole life. Uh, the relationship between science and theology, I always had a, a deep fascination with. But why is this important? Is it just our personal interest, or is there something deeper? There's, there's something deeper than personal interest, but personal interest is part of the picture. Uh, science is good at certain kinds of things, at, at empirical discoveries. It has vastly illuminated us about the age and extent of the universe, about the richness of life on Earth. It has enriched us about uh, microscopic scales of life and so forth. And I thoroughly enjoy that and uh, applaud these great uh, discoveries. At the same time, science does not deal with the deepest of value issues. Oh, traditionally, many philosophers have said that science doesn't touch values at all. There's an ancient distinction between is and ought, uh, between facts and values. And you can interpret that in various ways. Scientists say, well, we do judge better and worse science. We judge better and worse instruments and so forth. But when it comes to the deeper meaning of life, it seems to me that science has uh, not got the capacity to address these kinds of issues. And religion can. Now, now, maybe philosophy can and other fields, literature and art to some extent, also address these kinds of issues. But questions about the meaning of life are uh, religious, quasi-religious at least. And in that sense, I think science needs complementing by religion. Um, there are various people have recognized that. Einstein once said that uh, science without religion is lame, for example. Or sometimes he used the metaphor of two wings on one bird or something of that sort. So they are complementary uh, disciplines. Now we see that especially now, I think, when you may think well, science is doing everything for us. Why do we still need religion? It seems to me that all you need to do is to read the newspapers to see that there are great struggles about what is of value in the world. And so the question of conflicting worldviews is very much still at the center of focus and attention. In that sense, the, the great conflicts of world cultures are still right at us. The value problems, after 400 years of science, the value problems are as sharp and as painful as they've ever been. But the counter-argument is that many of those problems are caused by religion, yeah. not helped by religion, if you look historically. And the, and the fact that science has an objectivity that is viewed by different cultures, different religions, as truthful, whereas religions have great conflict among them, and so the truth value of any one of them looks uh, impossible to discern. So science has a, a universality about it that everyone can subscribe to, whereas religion seems to have just the reverse and, and seems to, to push people apart. Certain things in science everyone subscribes to. So if you want to know the specific gravity of this or that item, you look it up in a book, and it doesn't make any difference whether you're working in India or you're working for NASA in Washington somewhere. So there are elements of science that are universal, there about which there's universal consensus. 
but there are certainly many other elements in science about which there is no universal consensus. And you're quite right that religion can be a part of the problem as well as part of the solution. Now, we didn't learn that recently, right? All you need to do is turn to the Hebrew Scriptures or to the New Testament to find out that there were conflicts among, deep conflicts between religious persons. So yes, uh, religion can be put to bad use. And the religious people over the centuries have worried as much as anybody else about the misuse of religion. The Hebrew prophets were constantly speaking about the misuse of religion. Jesus was constantly speaking about the misuse of religion. So in that sense, it's a perennial challenge to separate uh, the good and the bad in religion. I concede that. On the other hand, if you're looking for places to find uh, meaning in life at deeper levels, you're not likely to find that in the book telling you about the specific gravity of the various kinds of materials that there are. You're going to have to begin to think uh, more deeply. You're going to have to think metaphysically. You're going to have to think in some sense, I think, uh, as it were, religiously. We face, as I said, great deep world problems. Uh, maybe it's encouraging that we've gone global and certain elements of life are global, right? Global communications, global business. But we have not yet settled in any sense uh, what it will take for humans to act in concert enough to have a sustainable biosphere, right? to move off uh, self-interest or national interest into thinking about conserving the planet, about justice for all on the planet. So I would like to think that religion might offer ways of thinking of Earth as a promised planet when justice flows down like waters, to recall a Hebrew prophet, then we will know the good life on Earth. So I think the dialogue between science and religion is as vital as it's ever been, and the future of life on Earth depends on it.